Yeah, it is a short report. It's about 12 uh, pages long, uh, and it just sets out at the beginning uh, the various things that... Uh, 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 processes that Sue Gray was asked. It talks about how an investigation was launched on the 8th of December uh, into what happened in Whitehall during the pandemic and in the Department for Education, how Sue Gray took over on the 17th of December uh, and how she was given a t uh, terms of reference uh, to look at a whole series of different events inside number 10. Uh, we're going to go straight to page 7, uh, which looks at her general findings. So looking at these uh, for the first time together. Against the backdrop of the pandemic, when the government was asking citizens to accept far-reaching restrictions on their lives, some of the behaviour surrounding these gatherings is difficult to justify. At least some of the gatherings in question represent a serious failure to observe not just the high standards expected of those working at the heart of government, but also of the standards expected of the entire British population at the time. At times, it seems, there was too little thought given to what was happening across the country in considering the appropriateness of some of these gatherings, the risks that they presented to public health and how they might appear to the public. There were failures of leadership and judgment by different parts of Number 10 and the Cabinet Office at different times. Some of the events should not have been allowed to take place. Other events should not have been allowed to develop as they did. The excessive consumption of alcohol is not appropriate in a professional workplace at any time. Steps must be taken to ensure that every government department has a clear and robust policy in place covering the consumption of alcohol in the workplace. Now, she goes on to talk about specific and uh, more general findings related to certain events. The use of the garden at Number 10 Downing Street should be primarily for the Prime Minister and the private residents of Number 10 and Number 11 Downing Street. During the pandemic, it was often used as an extension of the workplace as it was a COVID-secure means of holding group meetings in a ventilated space. This was a sensible measure that staff appreciated, but the garden was also used for gatherings without clear authorisation or oversight. This was not appropriate. Any official access to the space, including for meetings, should be by invitation only and in a controlled environment. Some staff wanted to raise concerns about behaviours they witnessed at work, but at times felt unable to do so. No member of staff should feel unable to report or challenge poor conduct when they witness it. There should be easier ways uh, for staff to raise such concerns individually, uh, informally, outside of the line management chain. The number of staff working in Number 10 Downing Street has steadily increased in recent years, and in terms of size, scale and range of responsibilities, it's now more akin to a government department. Uh, and she talks about structure, but then we go on to the conclusions. The gatherings within the scope of this investigation are spread over a 20-month period, a period that has been unique in recent times in terms of the complexity and breadth of the demands on public service, servants and, indeed, the general public. The whole of the country rose to the challenge, Ministers, special advisers and the civil service, of which I am proud to be a part, were a key and dedicated part of that national effort. However, as I have noted, a number of these gatherings should not have been allowed to take place or to develop in the way that they did. There is significant learning to be drawn from these events which must be addressed immediately across government. This does not need to wait for the police investigation to be concluded. Uh, so there you have the key bits of the Sue Gray report. I just want to go back to one absolutely critical uh, paragraph where she talks about failures of leadership and judgment by different bits of Number 10 and the Cabinet Office. I think that is going to be quite a challenge for the Prime Minister today.